Hello everybody, Gameplay with AK here, and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build a hidden lava base for survival. Now, this base does require you to have some basic armor, probably iron leggings and iron boots, as you will be taking damage from lava, and because of how it works in whatever update I'm using, 1.14, uh, you have a high chance of dying without armor. So, let's get into it. So, as you can see, this is the pit of lava I'm using. It's in a cliffside right here. And this is naturally generated. I simply just built my base off of it. So, to activate it, as you can see, I have a redstone torch in my inventory. And what you want to do is right click in this small gap that isn't really noticeable let's see it's right there so there's a small gap with stone surrounding it so if you didn't know it was here you might not be able to find it not saying it's impossible as you can see i right click there and you can hear a trap door opening so even if someone wants to find that and know what to do with it it's kind of hard to find it unless of course they were to drain the lava in which you would find out that the trapdoor is right here. And as you can see, we are into the secret base. So you can customize this base for whatever you want. I just made something small and simple. I replicated an igloo, except for this little pit of water which I needed for the drop, as you would take fall damage. Now I used an iron trapdoor so that it wouldn't burn. I'm pretty sure trapdoors now burn. And I use the new lanterns, because why not? Now over here we have the torch return, which is where the torches go once you use them, so you can reuse one torch multiple times. And I used a barrel to match with the surroundings. Now over here is the exit. I made a water elevator that pushes me up to here, in which I simply jump up onto this trapdoor, which can be submerged in water, and I make myself crouch with the other trapdoor. And I click this button to help me escape out into here. So as you can see, it doesn't look too suspicious, except for the fact that it's like the only block in the side of the mountain that's missing, but I'm not sure anyone would notice that. Alright, so now that we have that, let's get into building it. I constructed an area right here for us to see how this works. So if I simply destroy those blocks, here is the entire redstone system. So as you can see, it's mostly redstone with one observer, one piston, and an iron trapdoor right here. And right here we have the little area where you place the torch. Now right, it's an observer. So that when you place the torch, this piston moves, causing it to break and fall into this item hopper. And the redstone signal is passed through a block for easier use. And we have uh, two ticks applied to a redstone repeater. And that is going out to a bunch of other repeaters that have ticks applied to them. So that you have enough time to do the little jump right here. So if I block off the lava, let's just wait for that. As you can see, the trapdoor is right here in the corner. And that's because the lava is now thin enough so that you can basically slide through a holding crouch. Now I could make it thinner, but then that would reveal the cover that I'm using for blocks right here. And now for the exit system. So as you can see, we have the elevator and it's right here, and it's simply just a water elevator. Now, if I go out here, up to where this is, I can show you the redstone. So I use snow blocks because the dirt would be revealed like that. So if I crouch down in here, behind this button we have a not so complicated system. So let's just grab one of you. And right here. So 
What I have here is simply a button next to a piston with redstone leading into two different repeaters to extend the signal when I press the button to give you more time to get go out. And if we're going through here, you can see that it's just two different redstone signals heading into this one and it's going to curve around into a redstone torch which will deactivate it like so and allow you to go out. Now it's time to build one. Alright, so these are the basic necessities that you're going to need. Of course, the three redstone items, a torch, a repeater, and redstone dust to make everything work. An observer for the torch, a sticky piston, an iron trap door, and lava if you don't find anything that's naturally generated. Now, of course, you want blocks that match with your environment, so for me, it's going to be stone and dirt. And here's a cliffside I chose. So, you don't want lava to be up there, you want it to be at, like, eye level, so right here. Now, environment blocks. Since this is stone, I'm going to go grab a stone stair. Here we go. And you're going to put it in the wall, either to the left or the right side, depending on how your cliff is. So behind that, you're going to make a gap. On one side, you're going to put the observer facing this way. Alright. In the direction that the torch is going to go into. So I'm going to put my torch right there, and that will set this off. Now you want to keep a block right here, and have a redstone signal coming out of it. Now you're going to want to clear out some space. So in this block right here, we're going to have a sticky piston with a torch. Okay, never mind. The torch is going to go one more block behind that. So sticky piston, stone. So now that we have this down, we're going to go out to where we want our trapdoor to be. So after getting this part done, I'm going to cover the top with stone so that the torch can't escape, and patch that up. Now I'm going to place my lava down. So as you can see, mine spread like this, so we don't want it to do that, so I'm going to put some stone here, like that, and to cut off this so that I can place my torch in. So as you can see, my torch is right there, but I haven't connected the redstone. So once we find an area for the trapdoor, I'm going to put mine right here. So let me quickly block off the lava. I'm going to place mine like this, not down here. And I'm going to have two signals coming out of it for redstone. So you want to cover those with blocks of your choice. So we're going to want a 3 by 3 three space like this with redstone dust coming out like that and we're going to connect this to the main source over here and then for this one you're going to want a redstone repeater set to three ticks now you want to connect this redstone signal like this now over here you're going to grab a redstone repeater and put it for three to four ticks i'm going to put it for three this is the delay, so you'll have enough time to sprint from placing the torch into where your trapdoor is. So you're going to want to memorize that. And now I'm going to grab some redstone dust and push it around the back. So we want a signal going like here. So that we have redstone like that to go deactivate this torch and cause the torch to fly into a hopper that we're going to place down here. And then we want a redstone signal connecting over here. So we can do that. And then we can put a repeater for three ticks. Now let's test this out. Now let's place the redstone torch. Now as you can see, that was way too quick. 
So I'm gonna go back down here. Let's see. You can set this to max ticks to extend the time it's open for. And I'm going to add another repeater. So this is fit to preference how fast you can do sprints around corners. So as you can see, I have fallen down and gone into crouch. Now you just want to dig down into where your base is going to be. So I'm just going to build mine right here. And add some lanterns to light it up. Now you're going to want to decide an area for your water elevator. So if you're doing this in survival, scaffolding will really help for this part. And I made it out. So let's say you want to exit out of, let's say, this direction over here. So you're going to dig out a block and connect that. And as always, we're going to have an area for lighting. So right here. And you want to block off the rest. So we're going to come back to this after adding the hopper system. Okay, so now we have this. We're going to come over here to where the hopper system is going to be. So you want to connect this to your base. So mine's going to be right here. So you're going to grab a barrel or a chest. Barrels just look better in this situation. Then I'm going to get on top of it and then grab a hopper. And then just start chaining them to the top. Now you want it to be a one block gap. So nothing in between it. Like so. Then let me just recover this. And cover that. And now we're basically done. Alright, time to work on the elevator. So I'm just going to add lighting. Right here. And my elevator is going to be right here. So what you want to do is dig an area out here and cover up the main part. So what you're going to do is you're going to place some dirt and then kelp, water and kelp. Now after that I'm going to need night vision, I'm going to block this off, and then I'm going to place water at the top. So you don't want it right here, you want it one below. Now wait for that to come all the way down here. And then you just want to start swimming up while placing kelp. So what this is doing is making all those blocks into source blocks, which, which you need for water elevators. Now I'm going to destroy this. We're going to play soul sand and see if it starts pushing me up. Alright, so it pushed me up. So now what you're going to need is signs. Oh, and you should probably place this before. So now I have this. I'm going to place water down here if your fall is big enough so that you don't take damage. Now I'm going to go up here, and as you can see I hit my head. So you're going to want to put a, destroy another block, sorry, up here. Then you want a trapdoor of your choice. So you want one to be in the water, so that you can get onto it, and one to be above it. So, like so. So that it can put you into crouch. And now we're going to work on the piston. So you want a place for your button first, mine's going to be here, and then you want to dig, dig two blocks and place a sticky piston with the block around you right there. Now for the redstone, I'm going to go behind this. So this is the space we're going to need. So what we want is our button is right here, so redstone with two redstone repeaters. One set to max stick, one unchanged. Now we're just going to have a redstone signal like this with a redstone repeater and redstone dust curving around here and finally we want a redstone torch. So let me test that out. Perfect. Now if you want you can extend the ticks even longer by using two of these but I haven't experimented with that yet. So now I just need to patch this up. And there we go, our exit is complete.
So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe if you already haven't. If you didn't, be sure to comment what you would like to see to make your experience more enjoyable. See you in the next video. Goodbye!